Semis. And Radar recently changed characters. He played a uh, really good Marth. Uh, he changed to Fox for reasons we might find out later. Maybe that's the reason. So he could do that. Ad nauseum. Maybe Fox is just fast and he liked that. You know, it's fun to play a character who's fast. Re rewarding for your skill. But PhD has been chewing up foxes in Bloomington for a long time. He only really loses to uh, the animals and uh, uh, Bolin and Sen. But look at that, that was beautiful. So, Radar has been climbing the ranks recently. He really deserves to be where he's at uh, in uh, power rankings. He's bound to be, you know, top uh, five, maybe even top four in, after the conclusion of this tournament. Charge, called. Surprised Lou didn't go for the edge, or maybe he missed it by just a little bit. That's alright. Two book slaps, back to neutral. And one of the things that uh, I feel like Radar does a little bit better than PhD is he's better at chasing PhD down um, and during the punishes, whereas PhD, which is a Fox thing to do, but PhD is doing a better job of actually getting the quick kills, which is kind of interesting. PhD has a high degree of survivability, whereas it seems like every time PhD starts to roll on Radar, that's Radar's stop. So Radar wins the neutral a lot, but PhD is out punishing him. And written a little bit of a desperate up smash during the invincibility, hoping PhD would run into it. PhD didn't bite, uh, but Radar still got a up throw up there out of the exchange. Edge, no shine. And at 130%, relatively even, but PhD will have radar at a very disturbing uh, uh, percentage if he gets one more chain grab. Mm, look at that 65% versus 14. Things are looking grim for our hero radar of the green fox mantle. And PhD summarizing the match aptly. Yes, fuck, yes, fuck. I would agree with that. And we just had some uh, people walk in the room and they just gazed around, they stood in one spot, looked around at the mass of GameCubes and Wii's, and then shook their head and walked away. Welcome to competitive Super Smash Brothers, strangers. And Radar, he knows that... Oh! That was cute, but I'm not sure if it was better than a shine spike, but Radar, he knew what he was doing. He had his flow chart. I'm gonna up smash, and I'm gonna get a back air. Yeah, he's running in with these uh, shuffled mares, and uh, they're doing all right, especially when they lead into these quick uh, wave shine up smashes. Yeah, Radar's looking really smooth, but then he'll throw out these up smashes. I think he's a little bit frustrated with how slowly PhD has been dying, um, apart from that first stock this game, I think he's expecting. But, looks like this game, he's getting kills in a completely different way, he's getting kills just edgehogging. And that's fine, he's almost building him up, building up PhD as if 
You're gonna get killed off the top. You're gonna get killed off the top. I'm gonna hit you so hard. But playing close to the edge, radar is just discovered, has its problems. And PhD adapted well. But look. And we have the hog. And oh, came up a little bit too early. But, Ooh, they both got on that edge. That's some Smash 4 edge going on right there. Look at this. You know, if Radar takes this, he will... You know, right now, PhD is ranked number one or two, depending on who you ask, which algorithms you're using in the rankings. And Radar, who has been showing up this semester for the first time, uh, has shown us all where he deserves to be. And a double shine. Okay, so he he stopped playing Marth because he likes pushing buttons. And running up smash. And a wave. Shine up smash. Too easy, says P PhD. Too easy. HD is the master of self in Bloomington. Besides, you know, at least among like the top, you know, five players, he's easily the saltiest. Now look at the patience radar exhibits. He's just waiting for the next move. It's it's almost me too, King asking how he's playing the box. Apologize that I don't know better references. But, you know, most of the games we watch in the Smash community are the games that we study uh, of those guys. I'm very impressed with Radar's movement in this game. He's been really smooth and seems to... It seems like his losses are, the, the places where he's losing out are almost never technical errors. Um, it's just decision making and that's, it's really good to see that high level. Double clank! Uh, multiple clanking is my favorite hype thing in Super Smash Brothers. When two players hit each other at the same time and then do not give up and keep going for it. Ooh. And that edge guard doing wonders for Radar this set. Force Louie onto the edge, and then quick read and a forward smash. So then Louie with the classic double slap. Ooh, risky needles, the punish. You can't get away with that here. Radar knows what he's doing. That's Good presence of mind to say. And now PhD pulling out the train grab. But Radar knows how to break out of it at the right time. He's got we had stage control. Seated it in his uh, pushing of Radar to the edge. Ooh! Drops it. That's not something you see Louie dropping that much. Uh, I've seen him fa face a few foxes today and was just murderous after those needles hit off stage. Invincible ledge dash giving him some room to play. This is a slobber knocker, but PhD is an easy death percentage. He could still obviously get a gimp through chic things, but it looks like that's going to be GG for game two. Or game three, rather. And could this be the conclusion? Going back to Dreamland, Louis saying, I, I can do better. I have a flow chart. I know how to wave dash out of shield. Sort of. Yeah, this is a much stronger opening from Louis than any of the previous games. Um, and 
Radar's gonna have to make adjustments and come up with some quick kills of his own if he doesn't want to make this lead uh, indefinite. And no get up. And PhD commanding the stage. This tech chase has been going. That was probably 20 seconds of tech chase. Ooh, the perfect uh, edge grab. PhD did not throw out an option to cover that. So now Radar has the chance to control center stage, and we'll see how well he does that. And he gets another hog on the edge, and PhD bows his head for a moment there. Ooh. Ah, the the missed the missed forward. That was that was the stock. That was maybe even the game because uh, Radar has slowly been sneaking back into a comp more competitive position, adjusting to Louis' uh, newfound aggression and precision. But that aggression and precision has an actual purpose, which is to take stocks. And so Radar loses another. Probably supposed to be a shine. Tech chase begins. Radar, go left. No. Go right. Ah, well, now, now we're both wrong. And there's a, the, you can sometimes see in a player's face when they're getting tech chase. The, it's, it becomes this flip of the coin where your whole game plan is to trick the other guy. It's rock, paper, scissors. And this is the punishment. Hundred and thirty five percent damage on the stock lead. You know, maybe what Radar right really needs are these side bees. <laughs> it doesn't work this time. I just realized I have not talked for a while. <sighs> but Radar <laughs> bring it back. When you guys watch this, I just want you to know, you guys are great. Um, that's an interesting idea in commentary. Is it better to say sweet nothings or... You know, say nothing at all, but PhD, evening it up. Last game. You know, this is why our tournaments run so long. Every single game just goes as long as it can, or as many, every set goes as, as long as it possibly can. We are not very efficient in Bloomington. We just want to hit each other. Red has got him off stage. Didn't have a plan for that. He was expecting an up throw up air. Um, that time. One of the things we learned from watching at Full Bloom uh, all the drafting games is you're facing Sheik, almost always best just to grab the edge and react to the, uh, her laggy landing than to try to predict that she'll go on stage. This is 
looking rough for PhD. He's been known to try to come back and make a run from the loser side, but right now this is a rough stage, but and he doesn't seem to be able to get the last like little pieces of these uh, these punishes, whereas Radar only needs to get two pieces to kill uh, PhD at the top. And, well, I mean, PhD for that. The thing I do a lot. Like, you can do this, or you can do that. Very interesting. Ooh, that was pretty. Triple, and it's it. Radar taking out PhD ranked number two and three.